This video will show you how to install the January 2013 payroll update for Sage Business Vision. The update comprises of three parts. The installation of the payroll tables, the payroll year enclosed, and the TD1 revision. The first step in updating the payroll tables is to make a complete backup of the data files. Let's minimize the readme file. Let's open Sage Business Vision. We have a test company, HK Computers, working directory is C colon backslash BizVision backslash HK Comp. It is recommended that before the payroll update takes place to make a copy and a backup of the HK Comp folder. Let's log in. We can see under help and about Sage Business Vision, we have the 7.53 version. System info says that we have the July 2012 tables installed. Let's hit OK and OK again and let's prepare to install the update. Let's exit the system. The payroll update must be installed on each workstation. Let's take a look at the readme file again. Step number two says to double click the payroll update executable package to begin. Okay, let's minimize and let's double click the folder and we see here the payroll 7.54 executable. This update can update 7.50, 7.51, 7.52 and 7.53. Let's execute the file. And the January 2013 update requires a password. This password can be obtained within the email inviting you to download the update or can be obtained from calling customer care at 1-866-725-0724. Let's enter the password and click next, next and yes. This will update the Sage Biz Vision program files. We'll hit OK. And it is a good idea to restart the computer. However, you can restart later. Let's hit finish, close, and let's go back to the README. We have now completed step three and step four. And we're now ready to do step five. Sign on to Sage Biz Vision and select help about Okay, let's verify that the January 2013 tables are installed. We'll click on our help and about Sage Biz Vision, we'll see now the 7.54 program has been installed. We click on our system info. We see the tax tables are January 2013. The other payroll update, 7.61, is for the Sage BizVision 2013 7.60 system. Let's go back to the README file and let's perform the payroll year and close. The payroll year and close is done at the end of producing all checks for 2012 and before producing any checks for 2013. The payroll year and close is done only once per company and is independent of the fiscal year end. Let's go back to Business Vision and let's check a couple of employees. Let's go to the Earnings tab, and we'll see here that we have earnings for this year and earnings for last year. We finished all the payroll for 2012 for this year, and we're ready now to do the payroll year end close. Let's close. Let's go back to the PDF. 
and we go to utilities, payroll setup, payroll year end close. Please ensure that you have a backup before proceeding. There's an option to remove time cards. If you wish to remove time cards, click the button, make sure a check mark is there, and specify the calendar year. If you do not wish to remove any time cards, simply remove the check mark and click continue. Let's hit OK. Go back under the payroll module. Check the earnings. We can now see that the amounts from this year have been now shifted into last year. The next step is to perform the TD1 revision. Let's go back to the README file, and this is step three. Make sure the factor is 1.02. Let's go back to Biz Vision. The TD1 revision is invoked underneath Utilities, Payroll Setup, TD1 revisions. If we click that, make sure that all users are signed out click on yes and ensure that the TD1 revision is done only once per company. Make sure that 1.02 is in there, click OK and hit OK again. Now when we open payroll and verify in the amounts tab, the amounts are now correct for the tax credit and provincial claim. Is it a good idea to check each employee's tax credit and provincial claim in case there's other claim codes? Let's go back to the README file. We have performed step one, step two, step three, and step four. We've also verified step five, verifying the tax credit and provincial credits. To find out more about all the tax changes, visit http colon forward slash forward slash www.cra-arc.gc.ca. Thank you for joining me today on installing the January 2013 tax update for Sage Business Vision.